What's up, fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sag. It's your weekly reading. I'm just going to jump right into it, but if you want a personal reading, that's linked in the description below. These are collective readings. So it might not completely resonate. Maybe there will be pieces in it that resonate. Maybe the whole thing will resonate. Maybe it won't resonate at all. And if that's the case, just come back next week. Um, all right. I said I'd jump right in, but... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. First card out is the Knight of Swords. Whenever I see the Knight of Swords, it's quick information. Very quick, actually. Like, <laughs> confirmation burp. Like, um, ooh, this is good information, too. You have the Six of, of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is quick info, like, within the, like, the next couple of days. Anywhere from the time you're seeing this, like, literally, the second you watch this or turn this reading off, you may get an, a message or something like that um, about good news or something you've been wanting to hear, something like that, to possibly, like, a week. So, just bear that in mind something will be happening this week i feel like whatever this information is it's in regards to how you've been feeling like you don't know what the future is gonna hold you can't picture certain aspects of your life the way that they are right now being sustainable in the future three of wands in reverse feels it's very stuck sometimes the three of wands um wanting to expand wanting to grow but feeling as if you may not know how to or just feeling as if you don't have the vision to do so like you can't picture it like you ever have an incident where you're like i would love to make this thing happen but i just can't picture it i just can't like i can't see it 10 years down the road it's that sort of the three of wands is that sort of energy I don't know if this has to do with a relationship or a marriage or something like that. The Hierophant comes out, which can be some sort of commitment. But all in all, the, the Hierophant is an establishment. So you may be like, this could be, again, this co a collective general reading. So it's going to resonate differently for different people, right? Not everybody's going through the same thing. But you may not... Like, you may be in a corporate job, like, right? Like, that's the establishment in a corporate setting. And you just don't, you can't picture yourself there five, ten years down the road. And maybe you're waiting for some sort of info in order to get the ball rolling on something else. The I had this feeling... I had this feeling when I was when I was working in a corporate job um, and and it was a good job on paper great benefits great pay um, opportunity for growth I was in a union I had it pretty made at this job I was making decent money for somebody who didn't have any college degrees at the time um, and everybody was like yo, like, you're solid, you're set. And I couldn't picture myself three years down the road working at this place because I was so miserable. Like, I tried to picture, like, what is my future three years from now look like at this place? And I couldn't. It, it was just a blocked, like, and, and when I did picture it, like, I was miserable. But in my head, I was like, there's no way. There is absolutely no way that I'm making it three more years at this place. You know, I, I was trying to move up. And so many other people had seniority over me. So I was constantly being denied jobs because other people had to get them before me. And then I'm like, oh, my God, like, it's going to take years before a, another job position opens. And I can't do this for another. Like, you know what I mean? 
I'm getting that same sort of feeling. Maybe, maybe some of you guys aren't necessarily miserable, but at the very least, when you try to picture your future in this position where you're at right now, I don't want to say this is just a job, but when you try to picture your future in this situation, you can't. And I feel like that's because your intuition is kind of telling you it's not meant to be in your future. So... Yeah, some of you guys could literally be... done and over like this could be about work i have the eight of pentacles in reverse some of you guys could literally be over it morale is low you're just like i don't want to fucking put the effort into this thing anymore again if this is a job that makes sense if this is a relationship it makes sense the magician in reverse is here which tells me you have somebody in your energy whether this is a boss or a spouse or a friend whatever the fuck it is make it make sense for you somebody who's a con artist who's manipulating and you're maybe realizing that maybe that's what this knight of swords is you kind of get the info that this thing you shouldn't be putting effort into this thing expending your energy your focus maybe has been on this thing and that is not the right focus that you should be taking because it's not sustainable for your future that's what it feels like it's like putting all of your effort into an abusive relationship that you don't belong in anyway like this isn't you're not going to marry this person or you're not going to stay married to this person it's like putting all of your effort into um just make it make sense for you i can't think of scenarios ten of wands which tells me whatever this thing is you're taking on the burdens of responsibility in some aspects responsibilities that you like that aren't yours to take like you know what i mean you're taking responsibility for other people's shit and you shouldn't be doing that and again that makes sense because that's not sustainable that's not sustainable for the future and this reading is very much so because maybe you fucking fire signs have been really heavily thinking about your future lately and this energy is not sustainable for the future six of cups could be family members or things wrapping back around from your past people you've known you've you have roots with possibly reaching out um to either give you information or be in your corner <laughs> ten of pentacles this is stability this is your legacy so it has something to do with family I don't know if this is like family pulling you out of a shit situation. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It could be that remaining in this particular situation with whatever this establishment is will cause you to lose out on another opportunity that you should be nourishing and helping to grow. Whatever this is, your family will have a very big impact in a good way. Feels like the family comes to either your aid <clears throat> or like could be they come to your aid financially. I'm just seeing I'm just seeing family stepping in. I, I don't I don't I don't wanna like give give too much when I 
I have no idea what the fuck this is. Love. It says, love is the foundation of your existence. There we go, talking about foundations again with this Ten of Pentacles. And again, family. We love, For the most part, we love our families. Um, okay, love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it's equally a form of of energy that propels you through life. I have to sneeze. <coughs> God bless me. Um, I want to do a couple of Oracle. That was a good shuffle. All right, let's see. Let's see what this Oracle of Echoes has to say. Hope. Love and hope. Like I said, some of you guys may be feeling like... I f like I said, though, it, it feels like it goes back to family giving hope in some form or fashion. Um... Yeah, okay. As I cut this deck. Archangel Ra Raguel. Justice, harmony, and solutions. <laughs> Do I even need to really read this? I will. I absolutely will. This card upright heralds good news. Like I said, you... Like I said in the beginning of this fucking reading, go back, rewind this reading, watch it over again, put it all together, okay? Because I love when it, it makes sense. This card upright heralds good news. Raguel is the angel of justice and harmony. He brings fairness and compassion to difficult situations and relationships with others. A personal or work conflict will be clearing up soon. Perhaps someone has been annoying or agitating to you. Even hurtful or hostile situations will be on the mend. Some difficulties may have been an undercurrent of your life for a long time, creating a deep sense of injustice in you. If so, now is the time to change things. Speak your truth. Make reasonable and honoring requ requests. Your soul longs for you to heal your relationships with yourself and others, and Raguel is here to help. Whether it's your spouse, your boss, a coworker, this is literally exactly what I've, like literally I even brought up, oh, it could be a spouse, could be a boss, or a friend. I also said that. This card is telling you that you do have the power to heal the energy of that relationship. Raguel blesses your intention to live in true harmony. And the affirmation is, I deserve harmony in my life. I call on Raguel to keep me, oh, to help me bring great peace to all of my relationships. I love when they make sense. It's just like, the energy is, is flowing and it's fluid and it makes sense and I love that. So that's your reading. I hope that makes sense because this is this is a pretty decent reading. So I will see you guys next week, my little fire sign, fiery bastards. I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace out. <laughs>